Casinos are opening back up and dealers are being forced to wear masks and some of them have to wear latex gloves and they are worried, worried, worried. They haven't been back to work yet and they know that their first day is coming back up and here I am today. I'm gonna see what all the fuss is about. Okay. It's the summer and the kids are out of school. Okay, so I'm going to test this out by putting on some gloves. I'll do that now. And we are going to deal a hand of one, two, no limit just a little bit, just to see all the parts of a hand of dealing. And I can already tell that I am not crazy about this. Oh gosh. Seeing what this is like for the dealers that have to do it. Okay. <laughs> These are powder free. Oh gosh. I can bear, these are too small. These are, these are too small. I can't, I can't. No, I have to take them off. All right, it's fine. Ah, it's pulling at my hair. It's pulling my hairs out. Ugh. I don't know what size these are, but they are too small. Let's try these. This is better. <clears throat> so this is just seeing what it's like to be a dealer in a room that requires gloves. Can we do it? That's the question. Might as well take this moment to say I have now posted all 38 lessons on how to deal Texas Hold'em start to finish. You can find that playlist in my channel. Um, I suggest you go learn. Beginning to end it's for all skill levels and everybody. but. Here we are. So I'm going to practice by going through a hand of one to no limit and I'm going to comment on all the individual parts of this. So let's see. First part would be the shuffle. Uh, all right. I can feel the cards all right. They're slippery. Something about it feels slippery. Do not use powder, by the way. There's a lot of latex gloves that have powder on them. That's going to get all over the table and it's going to make it so that they're even stickier. Ooh, it slides. That's good news. It slides on the felt. All right, so the shuffle, it went okay. Um, I can do this, that's what I get from this. These gloves are still kind of small, by the way. I would probably get bigger ones, but these are better than the others. Um, I'm gonna put the mask on to really emulate it. Uh, if you're at a table and you're in a casino and they want you to wear a mask, do not take it off your face, that's not okay. I'm in a video right now, so nobody else is here, mostly. Okay, so now the full experience. I got the mask on, I've got the gloves on. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to pitch the cards to all the players. Oh, no. It's already kind of tough. But, oh, it works. It works. Uh, a little hint. So, it feels different. It's a little bit more slippery. Um, you, you're going to need a better pitch in order to be able to do this. But you can put your arms out. If you put your arms out, you don't have to go as far. It's less professional, but these are chaotic times. Um, I think that that's okay for you to get your arms out when you deal. You don't want to do this. If you're doing 40 hours a week, try to get yourself back in here again because it's better on your back and everything, but for a little bit, it's okay. All right, so the pitch, it's a little shaky, but I can't expect myself to be perfect with gloves the very first time. I think that was all right, honestly. Um, okay, okay. So far, so good, actually. I, I thought this was going to be worse, but it's not too bad. Um, let's see. So we'll have this player call. Uh, Ryan, can you have these player, this player muck? I just want to see what mucking's like. All right, so they fold. Ooh, that's totally fine. You can totally fold the cards. Uh, you can totally muck. No problem at all. All right. I'm going to have this player raise to 10. This player will fold. Uh, this player is going to fold. This player is going to call. Uh, I'll have this player, uh, well, this player will call. This player is the fold, and this player will fold. So we'll keep it all over there. All right. Bringing in the bets, it feels okay. All oh, this feels okay, yeah. Hey, listen, this is good news. I thought this was gonna feel way worse than this. This is actually totally doable. My hands are feeling a little bit cramped, but I think if I had the, the right size gloves, I'd probably be a little bit better off. Um, so far, so good, but let's see if we can bring a flop here. All right, so. Wow, I had really good control there. Everything felt natural. I'm quite surprised and impressed. Uh, this is doable. So far, it's doable. <laughs> I'm not a fan of wearing a mask, but 
it's doable. That's what I'll say. All right, so I brought the flap, no problem. Now let's see what happens when everybody goes all in. Oh, I do want to take my rake. You know what? Actually, before I do that, I'm, I'm gonna just see what it's like to make change. Can I work in the bank? Um, you know what? Not so bad. That worked okay. Making change seemed to work fine. All right, so now I'm gonna have everybody go all in because I do want to see what it's like to break down a bet to see how, how easy or hard that is. So everybody's going to go all in. And let's have this player go all in here. We'll put their cards back here. And this player's gonna go all in here. Make a little bit more room for myself to work with on a real table in a casino, you'd have more space. By the way, I know that, that a lot of places are dealing shorthanded. I'm just testing this out to see what this is like. Um, okay, so small stack first. Listen, it's it's not it's not the way that I like having it feel, but it's fine. I was able to do that no problem. So that's 140. Yeah, I you know what? I have pretty good control of the chips. Totally fine. All right, so there's 140. I guess it would go like that. Um, and then this player talking the game's a little bit tougher. Um, so this is 130. So there's gonna be 20 on the side. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to push this back to this player because that's all of it for them. Uh, I'm going to take 20, put it on the side over here, and I'm going to move all this to the main pot. Yeah, bringing the, bring the bets in, bringing the pot in, not a problem. And I'm going to get this out. All right, well, you know what? That looks okay. Now let's see what it's like to bring a turn in a river. Look, it's... Something I want to mention, the deck, I, the stub, I can feel the stub is way more slippery than I'm used to. It's fine, it's just going to take a little bit more attention because now that it's more slippery, it's possible to fall right out of my hand. Um, just something that, something that I felt like I had to mention. But, let's see, shuffling fine, pitching fine, uh, mucking cards fine, bringing in bets fine, making change fine, out of the bank, um, bringing the flop turn and river fine, cutting chips fine. Um, all right, let's see if I can frame the board. So here we go. We're just gonna have everybody show down. I know that there's an outside pot first between um, those two. So let's see, eights are gonna win. Um, yep, yeah, so the outside pot goes over there. Framing the board was no problem. Killing the hand is no problem. And they flop nearly a straight flush. So looks like they're gonna win and yeah, this whole thing actually is totally doable. And I imagine that they tested this before they did it. But yeah, look, I can push the pot no problem as well. Um, let's see if I can pick the board up. Yep, I can do that. Let's see if I can move the button. Uh, I can wash the cards no problem. You know what? This is okay. It's it's a little weird. Yeah, I can, I can wash the cards no problem. I did a demo on, on YouTube and a YouTube Live, and the gloves had powder on them, and they were really sticking on the felt, but without the powder, it's absolutely no problem. I don't know how long these things are going to last for. I mean, they don't seem super strong, and I'm not sure what happens if they break, uh, but I think it's okay. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so... I don't know about taking these gloves off. I don't know if like the dealer's supposed to leave them on all day. I don't know how that stuff works, but um, I mean, at the end of the day, Ryan, what do you think? You think this is doable? Yes. All right, so he thinks it's doable. I think it's doable. And what do you say to somebody who is finding out they gotta go back to work and they have to wear gloves where they work? Get over it. Got it, so <laughs> I, like, I like how you just get right to the point. Um, I mean, look, I'm not going to be so harsh to say that. It's it's a pandemic, though, and it's totally doable. I just tested it myself. I feel good. I, by the way, I tested this live. I hadn't actually done this before. Um, I had only done it with powdered gloves, and I didn't like that. But this is doable. My hands are slightly sweaty, but it's fine. Um, I will say that some company out there, I would love for them to make the perfect gloves for poker dealers. Uh, that would help a lot. I don't know exactly what they would need to be, but... Um, yeah, you know, I, I hate to say that, that Ryan's right, not because he's my son, but because he said a, kind of a harsh thing, and I don't like to just ignore people's feelings, but you, you kind of do have to get over it. If you're a dealer, this is doable. It, it's as simple as that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, join my channel if you want to learn how to deal Texas Hold'em from start to finish. Um, you guys are great. And if you don't want to get over it, get bigger gloves.
You heard it here.